Hey there, Helen here from Preparing the Way. And uh, this little message is sort of like a wrap up for 2023. Frankly, I can't even believe we're here. This year has just been flying. Has it been like that for you too? It certainly has, we've noticed it. So, you know, we have a lot of people to thank. We have a lot to acknowledge. We've had a lot of wins and big uh, achievements this year. We've had a lot of challenges and a lot of tests and all of that. And, you know, life's like that, isn't it? You know, also, um, you know, we've had um, also loss close to us. Um, I've had a, you know, long-term friend of 50 years die very suddenly recently, and it's never had me more present to the precious, precious work that we do as end-of-life doulas. And, you know, we, we've really had a remarkable time with that one of our team. Um, her husband died this year, and we were very, five of our team were involved in doulering um, that event and you know just there's just been so many real opportunities to do this work and another thing we did this year with our accredited training uh, we actually got some government funding to fund 16 places in an aged care facility um, up uh, in New South Wales um, in Newcastle region and we delivered two units to 16 of their staff and this was funded by the government which is a big win in the first place and we did the active dying unit from our cert for and also palliative care and it was so effective in the aged care facility that uh, they actually came back to um, our registered training organization um, who are our program is on their scope of programs. Um, they're called Essential Skills Training and Recruitment. They, they, the company came back to them and said, we want to roll those two units out through all of our uh, aged care facilities throughout New South Wales and the ACT. So that's a really big win there. Now funding, of course, you know, we know what it's like. It's sometimes it's there and sometimes it's not. But even to have that acknowledgement of the difference it made having their staff feel more comfortable. And these were floor staff, as in the you know general support staff, but also there were some activities people and some of them are RNs. And to have them feel more comfortable talking to their residents and to the residents' families about what was happening in the active dying stage obviously made a huge um, impact for them. So that was a really big thing. The big news about our accredited training is, and we've just heard this literally a bit over a week ago, that um, our certificate for in end of life dollar services has been added uh, to the smart skilled list uh, of on the New South Wales um, training um, skills list. Now, what that means is that they have so validated the training and talked about what a needed qualification it is that they are subsidising um, people who live in residential uh, residential in New South Wales to be able to do that. There's obviously criteria and different things that have to be met and boxes to tick, but this is huge, that this is the government saying, we recognise the need for this qualification and we want to subsidise people to do it because it can be cost prohibitive for people. So that's huge, That to have that happen so quickly um, in in this qualification being out, there's a big deal. Now, next year, we go on to working with other states and seeing if we can't get that out there um, in other states so other people have access to that subsidy as well. The other thing we've started this year is our end of life doula skill set. And that's actually four of the units from the certificate four. So four, what we call enterprise units. In other words, units that are absolutely unique to preparing the way, but also to natural grace, holistic funeral directors who we work very closely with. And uh, so we've led our first one of those. So that's one unit a month for four months. We've finished our first one of those. We'll be starting our next one in March. Um, the CERT 4 will be continuing from mid-year next year uh, for people that have done the end of life dollar skill set. We're starting there. You know, we've had so many learning curves. Well, I'm calling them learning spirals around the CERT 4. It's been a massive, massive undertaking. And, and truthfully, uh, there have been times I've been like, what on earth was I thinking to, to take this on? But I tell you, our team and Catherine, my co-owner and, and bestie, um, Catherine is the manager of the CERT4 and honestly without her and her loving and holding that course and everyone in it and all the trainers, 
and working so closely with essential skills. Um, I, I don't know that we would have made it, but I really want to you know, pay my respects and, and, and thank Catherine enormously for everything she's done for that. But so next year is even bigger um, and we're starting, as I said, the skill set so people can come along and just do those four units and when they successfully complete them, they get what's called a statement of attainment. So it is an accredited thing. So we've got quite a bit of interest in that, a great way to start. And then people can really work out, do I want to go on and do the cert for, or, you know, as in the remaining um, subjects. So that's sort of in the, in the world of accredited training. And, you know, as I said, it's been a huge uh, learning curve. And we've, we, one of the things that happened in the first uh, round um, of the certi certificate four was that we had um, half of the participants leave. That was a big learning curve. And when we interviewed people to find out, you know, why they'd left, the majority of people who left, all, all bar one, had not done our non-accredited training before they came and did the Cert four. So what that taught us was that um, a few things happen. When people have done our foundation workshop, and have done our four day intensive, when they get to the end of those, they really have a strong, deep sense of what doula is. And also if it's their sweet spot, if it's their happy place, if it is the thing that really inspires them to make the difference they wanna make in the world. And as I said, all by one of the people who, who left the Cert four, their comments were things like, well, it wasn't what I thought and it didn't go so we've really switched it up with that and we're really recommending to people they do our foundation work uh, workshop and our four day intensive and then look at do you want to go on into the skill set or do you want to go in on into the cert four and we obviously make a change in the price in honor of having done that four day intensive so that's been a big learning curve um and had a big impact you know the cert four takes a lot of resources um and so, you know, we've been really challenged in that area, but you know what, we've made it through. We've had some big breakthroughs. And I think one of my personal big learnings this year is, is just to hang in and to keep going and not give up. And there's times I've wanted to chuck the towel in, let me tell you, but we've managed it with a lot of support around us. And, you know, I really, there's a lot of people to thank and I, and I will do that before I finish. But I wanted to share some other, you know, bits with you um, that we've been doing this year. You know, we had a presence um, along with several other end of life uh, businesses at the uh, palliative care conference and the doula, uh, sorry, the elder, which was end of life doulas and allies, that exhibition uh, booth was uh, the busiest exhibition booth at the conference, apparently so much interest in doula and so much interest if, you know, from people wanting to do this who were already in the conventional care setting, but are looking to maybe, you know, get to do something different in their lives. They want to continue to give, but they're looking for something else to do. Uh, for some people come to this training, they're coming from, they want to make a difference to one person special to them, or maybe they want to look at changing careers or some people are already in either the care setting or maybe complementary therapies or got some other skill set counsellors. Uh, we've had, um, you know, funeral directors come do the training. We've had, um, you know, uh, what it was, celebrants, like all of this range of people who want to add another string to their bow because this duelering training is just, it's, it's just so needed. And, uh, you know, we're seeing a real swell and a rise in people starting to look and look for, um, you know, doulas to be able to support them and their families, which is really great. And we get a lot of people coming to us and we share that, you know, work out with our, with our people. Um, another thing that's been great this year is we've, we've been really encouraging our doulas that have done the training to create local hubs. and. You know, we've been getting underneath that, but what's one of the things on our slate for 2024 is to really get up under that because, you know, we know that you can't do this work in a silo. It takes everyone, takes community. Um, and, uh, you know, we're very passionate here about the compassionate communities, um, you know, movement. And we talk about that in all of our training. And, you know, as Professor Alan Keller here says, um, and I'm, you know, probably badly paraphrasing, but but that there, you know, there's this 95%, 5% rule. And that is that only 5% of the time a person is aging, dying, 
grieving, are they in front of a doctor or a nurse? 5%. 95% of the time, they're either alone with their family, friends, community, the dog, with their TV uh, or their internet. And that doulas are all about that 95%. We're non-medical, non-clinical. So, you know, that's where we're working. And um, I'm so proud of our training. We, we put a lot into it. We're in the process of revising them all. We've got to keep updating everything because there's so much change. So that's an exciting thing um, as well. And, uh, you know, we've been having master classes. Um, I've got some interviews and we're going to do a new series coming up in 2024. We're, we're going to be talking with Dr. Catherine Mannix. We're going to be talking with Dr. Michael Barbado. I've already got those um, videos done. Uh, we're going to be doing, um, I want to do a whole big thing about advanced care planning. Um, Doula Connections this year, that's Julie Fletcher. They created this and, and Cherie working with her did an amazing, amazing job creating this incredible 38 page end of life planning form it's the bomb i tell you i've seen a lot of end of life planning forms and this is the most thorough thing i've ever seen it's like you know all about from your planning and all of that but then you know what about if you were aging and you needed care what's important to you there but then okay what if you've got a diagnosis and and you're in hospital and okay then there's the traditional advanced care planning like the medical aspects of it but then it's like well what care do you want who do you want around you what do you want for your funeral uh what do you want for your after death care uh do you get what i'm saying and then what supports do you want in place for your family it's the most thorough thing so i'm going to be doing a a big thing about that um, this year as well. Um, I'm also going to be doing something this year I did too. I Oh, that's right, the road show. Um, I spent nine months of the year basically on the road. Um, and it was so nice to get out of uh, Victoria and Melbourne just because we've been locked down so much. So it was something I wanted to do prior, actually, prior to COVID happening. Um, but uh, just we didn't get there before the door shut. And so me and my trusty Hyundai, off we went and moved my car back to the gills. And um, I went and so went all up to, right up to Queensland, Sunshine Coast and down through Dubbo and Orange and, and uh, Maitland and Newcastle and uh, where else did I go? Sydney, um, um, the Illawarra, um, oh gosh, I'm going blank, but Victoria, South Australia, Western Australia, Tassie. Uh, so had the most amazing time and, and it was just so great to just get out on the road and see our beautiful, beautiful country and visit with all of our, a lot of our doulas around and we had gatherings and I showed the incredible palliative care movie, Live the Life You Please, which we'll be doing again next year as well, um, to really show what's possible. And the great thing about showing that movie, um, uh, it's called Live the Life You Please, is it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's all about palliative care and it's a range of stories. It's beautifully put together um, by Moonshine Agency. And, you know, that movie really opened people's eyes. But as it says at the end of the movie, um, and one of our doulas, Rani Foreman, is actually in the movie and talks a bit about being an end of life doula. But that, but you know, if an end of life doula does this much, they sort of showed about this much, right? So what we were doing was we would show the movie in a town and we would um, then have a panel of our local doulas and uh, they could ask questions afterwards because what we wanted to do was go, you know, because the truth is, as it says in the movie, that good palliative care can be a postcode lottery, really depends on where you live. And if you think back to that 95%, 5% rule that I just talked about, then doulas are in that 95%. So then we would do a Q&A after the movie with um, uh, introducing local uh, end-of-life doulas. So that has been very successful as well, um, and uh, which I've been really proud to do. And we've been doing some training on the road with our doulas, and and um, I got to go to some lovely wineries around, and, um, oh, the Hunter Valley, oh, my God, love it up there. The Barossa I got to see a little bit of. So um, love, love having a glass of good wine. We love that. Um, so yeah, it's been a massive year. I'm, I'm just trying to think of some other things to, to share with you that we've done um, before I sort of go into some thank yous. But, but next year, you know, we've got, uh, we're going to have two cert fours running. Um, we're going to have end of life all the skill sets so people could come and do the four or the full thing. We've got more masterclasses. We're really going to be focusing in 
um, on um, focusing in on our doulas and really getting up under our doulas and building those doula hubs and supporting them. Um, and, you know, we want to be adding some more training available for them. Um, oh, I started to say about the End of Life Doula Roadshow, something I did um, this year was also I did some face-to-face -face training. So our foundation workshop, which is a one day or two half days, um, I led that face-to-face -face in, in Sydney, Melbourne, Canberra. Um, where else was I? Um, I think that was it. I can't remember. Sydney. Sydney, I said that. Anyway, so this year I want to take it regionally. So if you're out there in a regional area and you can get, you know, eight to ten people together, um, I'll come. Um, we're going to uh, Orange. Uh, we're starting in February. There'll be two one-day foundation workshops uh, there and uh, our doula there on the ground, Serena, and uh, there's also Melinda in Dubbo and um, and Karen in Narromine. So they're going to be pulling that together. They're our local doulas. And we'll probably do a film while we're there. And so, you know, it's just time to really spread the word. You know, Julie Fletcher said once, and I love this, it's a real driver for me, is, you know, we need to get doula as well-known as nurse so that we can truly make the difference that doula makes. And, you know, to be able to really share with people what's available in holistic home-based after-death care, what's available in holistic funeral care, holistic active dying, holistic doulering, where we're working collaboratively rather than as, as solo, as, as silos. So the other big thing we've been focusing on this year is really about self-care and, you know, doulas really are champions for wellness and health and well-being and, um, you know, can be those eyes and ears uh, on the ground with families and people, you know, which leads, of course, then to early intervention and harm reduction because, you know, and I don't know whether you've ever been a long-term caregiver. I, I have. I lived with my mum for seven years um, Well, she was living with dementia and, you know, to do that role, you know, and I learned a stat the other day that astounded me. So it's something I really want to get to work on next year. And the stat was that uh, around 30% of long term caregivers die before the person they're caring for. That's a big stat. So I'm really want to chase down a bit about self care um, next year and really start to promote that in our in our doula ring and, and have our doulas out there in promoting that in their communities as well. So um, I want to say a few thank yous um, before I wrap up. And, and firstly, a thank you to you. You know, we've been really growing um, our following. We know that more and more people are interested in this. But without you, there is no preparing the way. There is no without, you know, doing this. And whether you care for one person or whether you want to do this work, we really do have um, the resources, the training, uh, the, the education and the community to back you up. You know, our doula community is is absolutely extraordinary. We put a lot of attention on our after training support. And uh, so I want to thank you, but I also want to thank all of our teachers and mentors and champions. I want to thank Catherine, uh, my co-owner and bestie. I uh, could not do this without her at all. And she's brilliant and loves talking to people about this work. Um, but I also want to thank all of our team, every single one of them. We've got a team of educators. We've got Joe um, and Estella and Kit and Jackie, even ones that have left or not working with us right now, Carolyn and Roz. Um, God, I haven't I forget anybody. That would be dreadful. Um, and then we've got our amazing admin team um, and we've got Dirk Tilly over in New Zealand. Um, but we've also got um, Mel and Kathy uh, here. Kit's also on our admin team as well. And we have Cosette, uh, who is our digital marketing uh, person who really puts all of this together um, and does a beautiful job with that. Um, we've also got my sister Sue, who helps me behind the scenes with getting all the manuals out and doing all of that stuff. So, you know, our, our team really is quite remarkable. And um, the, the also this year, we've had two wonderful team members who've been with us a long time and have contributed so much to preparing the way finish. And that's um, Jancine and, uh, and Cherie. And we really want to thank and acknowledge them for all they've contributed um, as well. And two other people in particular I really want to thank is Libby Maloney from Natural Grace and all the Natural Grace team and Jackie, but also um, Julie Fletcher, because Libby and Julie truly have championed me 
um, this year and have really supported me as a business but as a friend and as a doula. And uh, so I really want to thank and acknowledge them. I could not do this, what I do without it. And uh, so that's a bit of a wrap for 2023. We really look forward to coming back. I'm looking forward to having some time off, as is our team, um, and uh, really looking forward then to a very strong 2024. So please take good care of you, um, be, be kind to you, and really take care. It's, it's such a precious life. And uh, there's no guarantees, you know, and we really want to honour and support each other and our families and our communities. So thank you for you and take good care and, uh, and may this end of the year be gentle and restorative for you and may 2024 be one that knocks our socks off in the best possible way. Thank you so much. Take good care. Bye for now.